Nakaba, Nakaba, Nakapo, why? Why do you do this to do this to me? I'm bloody nerd again. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. And today's manga nerd again live reaction video is going to be for Nanatsu no Taze chapter 333. So Oh boy. So um yeah, Mael decided to show up. Why wasn't Mael in this fight at all? I'm so goddamn confused by this. The other thing that's just frustrating the hell out of me is I just got this feeling that Escanor is going to survive and Escanor is going to basically be our Makarov in the sense. Because Escanor should have been fucking dead, even with Merlin's magic boost in it. She should have been dead already. I, oh my god, Nakaba, seriously, just let Escanor die already. <sighs> anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Um, with freedom in, the, in their grasp, the brothers now head down their own paths. Uh, in exchange for um, his true magic power, Meliodas su uh, succeeds in destroying the um, uh, the Ten Commandments. Um, let's see, or the Commandments, excuse me. The long, long war has finally um, has finally at last reached its conclusion. And this chapter is titled "Pride, Gluttony, and Scars." He's really gone. It's about time we all did the same. Everyone is waiting for us. We all, huh? So that means you as well? Yeah, are you gonna just stand there all day? Come on, let's go back together. I'm sorry. Yes, thank fucking God! Finally! 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 Nakama did not fuck this up! I, I'm sorry, I can't even move my body anymore. It seems this is it for me. Regardless, I have no regrets in my life. Thank you for all getting to- uh, Thank you all for getting to know me, for letting me get to know you. Finally! Finally he's gonna die! Oh my god, I'm so fucking happy right now. Gather, you were the best confidant I could have asked for. King Diane, unfortunately I won't be able to make it to your wedding, which I can't wait to see, but um, I do pray you find happiness together. Lady Elizabeth, please give my warmest regards to His Majesty Hendy and the others. Mael, thank you for everything you did for me right up until the very end. Mael, you haven't... God damn it, don't get me started on Mael, damn it. Um, Bon, maybe slow down, the food's a bit... Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Captain, I owe you, um, I owe my entire life to you. You are a true friend to whom there can never be, um, any equal. Merlin... I've always loved you, and it wasn't just because you reminded me of Rosa, but because you really looked at me, spoke to me, connected to me without any prejudice or discrimination. Hmm. I think you're, um, giving me, uh, oh my god, there is some problems here. It says giving. It's supposed to be giving. There's a G missing up in here. <sighs> Damn it, translators! Um, you're giving me a little too much credit there. I simply found you quite fascinating. I may have only been watching you as a subject of a study, you know. A uh, subject of study, you know. That's more than enough uh, for me to be happy with, as long as I was able to exist in your co in some corner of your heart somewhere. You're too late. Too late for anything, for everything, uh, everything. Some things just can't be taken back. Escanor, I wish you would have found me sooner, if possible 3,000 years sooner. Merlin? What? No matter what happens, I'm always on your side. No matter what decisions you've made, no matter what crimes or, si or what sins you bear. You, you knew? No, just a gut feeling. From, after all, from the moment I met you, uh, you've always had such a sad look in your eyes. Ah, uh, Eskinor, your body! Oh, it looks like I'm just about out of time. Ma'al, do not step in here! Let the man die! Take care of yourselves, everyone. Now then, I'm not sure what may happen, so, uh, you should probably back away from me. I'll see, I'll see you off, Eskinor. I hate goodbyes. Farewell, Merlin. It's dangerous. Stay back. What? Ah! Yes! I am happy with this. <laughs> Merlin kiss Escanor. Oh my god! Oh my god! I was never able to reciprocate your feelings for me. But as proof of your life, um, as proof you existed, I'll take uh, I'll take these burns upon my body as a as a as a symbol of the one man who ever loved me. Like, oh my God, I'm like the city. <laughs> I'm a skin. Oh my God, Merlin. Oh my God. Oh my god! The finest 
taste of wine is able to lull the heart into um, the sweetest intoxication. That is your lonely love. Regrettably, I wasn't able to become the glass that could hold it. But if you could grant me one wish, God, it would be able to. It would be for a glass um, able to hold that love to one day appear. Bye, Escanor. Finally, finally, sleep well, Escanor. Even the mightiest fallen and gone with the wind. He fought um many uh men, many a mighty and protected many lives up um up till the very end. Though um though his sun may have set, proof of his uh, life will forever uh, remain scarred. This is the chapter I needed so bad. I needed this chapter. Thank freaking manga gods. This is what Escanor, like, I'm fine, this, you know what, I'm fine with Escanor going out this way. I think what really got me, and I think this is why Nakaba waited as long as, um, as possible, is, uh, because he, Nakaba wanted to have that touching moment between Merlin and Escanor, and you know what, I'm totally fine with it because we have that closure, and we know that she, and she confirmed she didn't reciprocate his feelings, which, <laughs> God, that was funny, <coughs> and sad, but, Oh, thank God. But the thing that just really pisses me off about the, and, like, I feel, and this is the thing with Ma'el. Like, I feel like Nakama just put, had just Ma'el show up here just for, you know, to see Escanor, you know, to see Escanor off. But, like, Ma'el should have been in this fight, too. I'm just so goddamn annoyed by that. Like, we just have Ma'el show up at the end here so he can say goodbye to, to Escanor. Oh my god. At last the sun has set it. And I feel good. I feel I feel good about this. I feel good about this chapter. I just just the thing just Mael being there just really frustrates me because it's like Mael should have been in this fucking fight sooner with the Demon King. But I'm just I'm the only thing that I'm surprised about is that Escanor didn't like disappear or slash die quicker. Like, I thought he was gonna die- he should have died last chapter, but, um, but, um, I'm just glad that we don't have a mosh- oh my god, here's the thing that I'm scared about. Nakaba, do not pull a Mashima. Do not do what Mashima did to Makarov. Just let Escanor stay dead. Period. Let Escanor stay dead. Don't pull a Mashima and all, and things will be good. Anyway, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. Um, are you guys happy with how Escanor died? I'm, I'm actually pretty satisfied with how Escanor died. I really am. And I love the burn marks on, um, uh, Merlin's face as a symbol of the, of, you know, the person that, uh, the only person that loved her. I thought that was really sweet. Um, I, I love what Escanor said to Bob. <laughs> that show was funny. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdic and Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more uh, Tazai content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.